Hi folks, welcome to Acadians project session number two. I am Sumit. In our previous session, we discussed the project requirement. We understood how the data looks like. We saw what are the different pre-processing as well as the enrichment steps that has to be taken care of. And at the end, we discussed what are the different analysis that can be performed on the data. In today's session, we will see what are the post analysis steps that can be done how the project flow will be and we will wrap up our session by creating the data which will be used in the further project work. So let's begin by understanding the post analysis step. So basically this post analysis step does not fall into the arena of big data developer. Okay, but then we are discussing this so that you can show this as a future work of the project. So once we complete our analysis, we can move the result from HDFS to traditional RDBMS. Okay, and store the data over there for quick retrieval because when the data size is small, our traditional database management system always provide a quick retrieval. Second, we can perform some visualizations on the analyzed data and create some graph or charts. Third, we can send the analyzed data to our downstream team, you know, the data science team, so that they can apply some algorithm and uh, do some forecasting. Next, we will see the flow of our project. As we discussed yesterday, there are two sources of data. One is mobile application and next one is web application. So the data will get generated from these two sources and then through the file server, we will receive the data. Once we receive the data, we need to validate it. We discussed what are the different criteria to validate the data. Post validation, we have to perform some enrichment steps. Yesterday, I showed you what enrichment is and why it is necessary. So this enrichment steps that will be done, for this, we have to take help of our lookup tables. And these lookup tables will be present in any NoSQL database like HBase. So once we are done with our validation and enrichment, we will pull the data to HDFS and perform the analysis. After analysis, it is the post-analysis work to the downstream team, we can send the data and all. Okay, so this was the flow of the project. Now we will begin our project by creating the data that will be used in our future. So you have the zip file. When you unzip the project, you will have some directories and few docs. So one of the directory will be script. So all the script file is present inside this directory. So first of all, what you need to do is you have to open this readme.txt file. This have all the steps that have to be taken care of. So I have already opened the readme.txt file. So very first step, it's ask you. And yes, so uh, the complete steps will be shown in a CatGill VM. What I have done, I have already started a CatGill VM and I have connected it through Putty. I have also copied the project folder in this and you can see Inside Home Acad Guild, I have a project, and when I do ls, these are the different files present in this project. So, first of all, you will have to unzip it and transfer it to the VM. It can be your uh, Hadoop setup or Cloudera VM or Hortonworks, whatever it is. But then you have to take care of the path because we have all uh, we have used slash home slash Academy, okay, so uh, according to your environment, you have to change the path. You have to be careful with that. So this uh, running MySQL is not required as of now. Next step, what you have to do is you have to give the proper permission to the scripts that is present under script directory or subdirectory. Okay, so we will do this. We will give the command ch mode this is used to change the mode and 774 to the scripts star means all the files that is present under script subdirectory enter so we have given the proper permission as well now you see there are two different python script one is generate web data dot py and then 
generate mobile data dot py see as this is a production project and we are simulating this in a pseudo in distributed mode so we, we cannot connect it to the actual server and get the data so what we are doing we are generating the data from our own for that we are writing a python script now it depends on you if you are comfortable with python you can write a python script if you are comfortable with java you can write javascript or if you are comfortable with unix you can write a unix script okay it's totally depend on you so we will see how exactly this generate web data dot py looks like so from the name i hope it is clear that it is used to generate the web data so in our project flow we we saw that there were two different data source one was web application and the other was mobile application so what we are now doing is we are creating the data that will be coming from web application okay next will be mobile data so i have already opened this you see this is a complete python script do not worry you can if you are master in writing a unix script you can write that as well to generate the data i will just walk you through this what exactly the script does okay so the first very first two lines it is uh, you know importing some of the uh, fu functions okay the python functions it is, sorry python classes are getting imported from the first two line now look at the line number 4 okay what it does is open is a function in python okay what it will do it will open a file named file.xml present inside this path home academical project data web okay if it is not present over there it will create a file named file.xml inside this path okay so first of all let's see whether the file is present at that particular location or not so we will go to data inside data we have mobile and web so we are dealing with web so we will go with web and you see there is nothing present as of now okay so once we run the script a file name file.xml will get created okay next we are setting a counter to 20 okay count is equal to 20 so what it will do it will generate the 20 different distinct records okay now while count is greater than 0 true so there were different fields i hope you guys remember geo cd then song end type was there then time stamp start time stamp and time stamp so we are manually creating a list that will contain certain values for geo cd it is a e a u a p and u okay different abbreviations are there for different places song end type 0 1 2 3 there, there were uh, four by different numbers so we have created a list that contains different numbers similarly we have time stamp list start ts list and end ts list now we are putting a condition if count mod percentage sorry if count mod 15 is equal to equal to 0 so current value of count is 20 so the condition fails it will go to the else part now user id is equal to u it is fixed that every user id will start with u plus any random integer it will do a concatenation with u in between 100 and 120 this function rad rand in will generate any random number and will do a fix with u so we will have a user id like u101 or u110 okay anything next song id s and then again at any random integer between 200 and 210 so similarly we got our user id song id again we are putting a condition if count mod 11 is equal to equal to 0 condition fails will go for artist id so i will let you know why we have put up this condition okay see as we are creating the data we have to be uh, you know careful that the, our data should consist some of the valid and some invalid records okay invalid records i showed you yesterday that if some of the values are null or empty that will be considered considered as invalid and then later on we need to do some enrichment on that okay so you see when count value at the end of this script we are decreasing the count okay count minus 1 we are doing so 
when the count value will be 15 the condition will pass and then user id will be null so it will basically we are just creating a invalid record also okay valid as well as invalid records so what now again let's let's proceed so geocd again it is any random value will get uh, in geocd field from the list whatever we have created similarly station id song and type like dislike and then what we will do we will be we will write these things into our file okay so as the data which is getting generated from web is in xml format you see all the fields are same we discussed yesterday i hope you guys remember what these fields uh, are and what exactly is the meaning of this field user id song id artist id if you are confused i would suggest you to go through the previous video okay so this is the data creation from web similarly we have data creation from mobile so the snippet looks almost similar is just that see in uh, you know file.xml that is the data which is which is getting created from web we have some different formats for timestamp okay the one which is getting created through mobile we have a different format of the timestamp okay rest of the fields are same conditions are same yes one thing to note it is getting this file or txt will either get created or populated under home academy project data mob path okay and i am pretty sure this file does not exist so we will go to mob and let's see if there is data no there is no data okay so once we run these two script you will find that inside web and inside mob there are the different files available okay so this is in csv format you see whenever we are writing the data is in comma separated value okay rest of complete functionality is same as we discussed in generate web data dot pi okay enough of talking now let's run the script and see what exactly happens okay so i will run the script and done so we have run generate web data dot pi so according to the script we will see file dot xml present and there will be some data inside that file so let's see what exactly is we will go to the particular path data and then web let's do a ls you see a file got created file dot xml let's do a cat on this file and you see xml record is getting created okay user id song id artist id then timestamp so similarly there are different records which got generated all right friends now again we will run the script to generate the data from mobile so this is the script let's copy and paste it press enter done so let's see how the data looks like we'll go to sorry we'll go to data inside data we will have more let's do ls file.txt got generated as expected and let's see the content you see we have the reports as comma separated and you i told you right the fields there will be some invalid fields as well you see this report the one which i have highlighted there is no user id in this okay similarly some of the other fields will be missing so we have created the data successfully both valid and invalid so friends in our next session we will proceed ahead for now thank you for joining have a great day ahead bye bye